you guys. Hi. Tonight, I have something really special planned for us. I have something really special planned for us tonight. We're going to have a really good time tonight. I have something really special planned. Can you guess what we're going to do tonight? Yeah, we're going to paint. But what are we going to paint? We can paint the Golgi apparatus. I've always wanted to paint this. It seems like a really fun, freeform thing to paint. And look at this one. Also, check this out. All right, it's time to begin. So let's begin. Oh my God. <laughs> let's begin. These are actually like hindering my vision more than helping. It's There's a lot going on in the Golgi apparatus. You know what? I'm thinking about just doing it without having drawn it beforehand. Let's just paint it. Freehand. And I've never painted anything like this before, so. And as you know, I was a huge um, student of science. I was a huge student of science uh, as a young girl. A biological fiend, I was. I loved snails. I loved learning about their behavioral patterns. Um, so this is right up my alley. I know they don't, I don't think they have, do they have a Golgi apparatus? I don't think so. Fire that thing up. But, whatever. Oh wow, I've never done this before. I'm kind of scared. Okay. I've never done this freehand painting, never done it. So get ready. Get ready, it could get really scary. Any dorks in the chat? You think it looks like the Golgi apparatus yet? I know it looks like Wi-Fi right now, but it's not always gonna look like this. Just give it some time to develop. This, look, this is where it's gonna change up. It's not gonna look like, it's not gonna look like Wi-Fi after this. Start the bidding. You better bid high. Because this is going to be in textbooks everywhere. It's going to be in textbooks everywhere. I should make Meg buy it? 
No, Meg already has my, um, the painting I made her, the Stallion of Cimarron. She already has that hung up in her room, and it has, like, a special light on it. Like, it's really shrined out in there. So I don't really feel the need, uh, egoically, to even give her another painting because I feel like I'm fulfilled in that sense with her. Uh, so my next challenge is going to be I'm going to try and get this painting. No matter how bad it is, I'm going to try and see if my dad will put it in his office so I can just, like, sort of discredit his entire practice. Um, but, you know, unless somebody wants to buy it. Otherwise, that's my move for this painting. Hi, buddy. People, <laughs> dude, it's gonna be so embarrassing for him, not for me. It's gonna feel, feel great for me. Yeah, he's gonna say, my kid did it. And they're, they're gonna be like, oh, how old is she? And he's gonna be like, she's 27. She's a 27 year old woman. Um, she painted this. Uh, she doesn't have a real job. But that's, I, I like that, you know? I love that. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you heard someone call algae the other day? Al guy? <laughs> that is so sad. But you know what? Some I'm not going to lie. I've done that multiple times where I'll mispronounce a word just to see if somebody's going to correct me. Because it feels so good if they don't. Like, there's some, there's some small mental victory when you say something wrong on purpose and no one corrects you. Like, you're like, oh, wow. All right, they either don't care about me or... I seem pretty credible. Yeah, like integer. I like to say integer. Integer. The integer. It doesn't look too bad. Kind of looks okay. I did as best I could. Here it is. Your Golgi apparatus for 2020. <sighs> mm. 
Have I ever been in a car accident? Yeah, I have. I've been in a few. Here, I'll give you the rundown. Driving home from the orthodontist. I wanted to sit in the front seat. My brother was like, I'm sitting in the front seat. And I was like, no, Max, I'm sitting in the front seat. Fuck you. And he's like, okay, fine. You can sit in the front seat, Aaron. I think I was like 12, maybe. So I sat in the front seat. When you sit in the front seat in my family, you get to DJ. So guess what song I played? Here's the song I played. Wait, can you guys hear this? Oh yeah, this is the song that I played. I was 12, please don't judge me. <laughs> this song actually is such a banger though. Don't even, don't even come for me. This song rules, dude. I'll still jam to this song if I wasn't, you know, if it didn't brand my memory in such a negative light. We're driving, and a woman who's 85. Oh, this song's gonna get crazy. Remember this song, guys? Okay, a, a 85 year old woman runs a red light and slams right into the passenger side front seat, and I get a UTI. I get a bladder infection and a UTI from the seatbelt. I don't think I deserve that. At 12, dude, I wasn't ready for a bladder infection. I wasn't ready. No, I didn't piss myself. What happened is that maybe I needed to pee. I feel like we're closer as a family, too. Do you feel closer to me that, now that you know about my, my first car wreck? And, um, consequently, my first UTI as well. First car wreck and my first UTI. My second car accident, here we go. My second car accident, oh my God, I have one minute to explain it. My second car accident was my fault. Did we have to get LinkedIn in college or high school or something? Is that why I have one? Because I don't even remember making one, which is scary. Like, is LinkedIn something that you're born with? Or did we get forced to make one at one point in our lives? I don't know. I, it's like one of those mysteries. All right, guys. I have nothing left to say. I've got nothing left. I am a blank lady sitting in a chair with no substance. It's time for me to go. I have to get out of here. I have to upload the podcast. I need to sit on my ass in a different chair or on a bed or something. Okay, see you later.